Hi everybody, good afternoon. I wanted to stop by and do some more tie-dye painty paper because I need some envelopes for some nail art I want to do. So uh, I thought that I would do this painty paper tie-dye stuff one more time. Now you've seen me do this on envelopes so I'm gonna make do go through that part really quick. But the deal was, I have this 8.5 by 14 inch paper. Um, I've got most of a ream of it. And what I needed, and this, there's all kinds of colors of it. Um, what I needed was some business size envelopes. And um, I, I didn't want them to be plain old white business size envelopes. So I am going to take one of some of those painty papers and make an envelope. So I thought I'd show you how I do that. Um, of course I'm working on my favorite freezer wrap. It's plastic coated. You guys know I use it all the time. Uh, mostly so I can move it out of my way. Um, and I'm using watercolor paint. This is just a really cheap Crayola watercolor paint set. I've had it a hundred million years or so. Um, lots of nice clean water. And if you didn't all notice this already, I tend to use the same brush for everything. So we're going to really water down some paint. going to get this paper nice and wet. Mm. That seems to be the same color. There we go. And you notice it's wrinkling and I don't care. I like the wrinkles. And I like the way the paint flows from one to another. Now if you wanted to dye paper for um, a journal or something, you could use watercolors and just um, use one color of paint. I happen to like bunches of colors, so ooh, that's really dark. Okay, more of the green. Now you notice this is nice and wet, it's wrinkly, it's got these little bubbly things in it. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to pick it up off of the um, freezer wrap. You want to leave it on the freezer wrap. And one of the reasons I like freezer wrap is because I can move it. So if you'll give me just a minute, I'm going to move the freezer wrap and I'll be right back. I'm going to turn the camera off while I do that so you don't have to okay I'm back and I'm going to show you what we have to do to make our little envelope um or I thought I was going to there we go now there's all kinds of envelope boards out there and things like that where you punch your envelope and you notice this envelope goes in with two pointy things you don't have to do an envelope that way. The idea behind an envelope is that you have sides and a bottom and a lap that comes down. So we're going to just do this what I call the easy way. And uh, well, let's do this one. I have a piece of cardboard. It is roughly four by nine inches. What I did was I Measured the envelope I wanted. Wanted it a little bit shorter. So this is, I ended up 4x9. It's a 4x9 envelope. Um, and then what we're going to do is put it sort of in the middle. I like a little more bottom of my envelope. 
this part then flap but you could move and you could move it all the way up here and make a tiny flap and a big bottom it would work fine um, but I just kind of stick it in the middle and I try to square it up a little bit I don't worry about it terribly and I fold up the bottom part now I do try to make sure that this is straight and I fold the top part down and I open it up Okay, that's the basics. We have four little corners and the middle piece. Let's put it right here. Okay, now we're going to cut this out of here. And what I do, let's put this right here. Um, on the sides, I don't try to cut right on the fold line. I cut just a touch above the fold line to the middle, to this point. Yeah. Where it's fold where fo both where both fold lines meet. To right here. So I'm gonna go just above this line and cut it in to that corner. Oops, I cut the other paper. Now Matt granted that I'm holding the scissors funny, okay? Now I could cut it straight here, but I like a little bit of an angle, so I'm going to go about a half an inch, and I'm going to cut to that same corner. And I have this little piece. Now I'm going to cheat and use this blue one. See, it's just angled into there. You just cut that piece out. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. On the bottom of it, I'm going to go in about a half an inch and cut to the corner. And then on the side, I'm going to go just above the fold line and cut to the corner. And if you see, what will happen is, is that when you fold the side in, the bottom won't be caught on it. If you cut right on the fold line, the bottom would be caught on it. Okay? Then we have to do the same exact thing to the top. We're going to go from the side into the corner, but we're going to just cut off the fold line. And that fold line's not creased very well. There we go. And we're going to cut from about a half an inch in to the corner. And we're going to cut just north. You guys might not be able to see that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just, this is the fold line. You can see it better. Now I'm going to cut just from this edge into the, line, into the corner and then about a half an inch. And now don't throw these little pieces away because I'm sure that they're going to end up in some kind of little art project. So now we've got our sides and we can fold this up. Okay, now we could do all kinds of decorating. If you want to stamp on it, you might want to stamp uh, ahead of time. You can um, do a little doodle. I did a little doodle here, but let's, you can stamp it while it's open if you want. I'm going to glue it though to show you how to glue it closed. We're just going to close this in and this in. And I like this um, Tombow Mono liquid glue because it has a really tiny little tip. And therefore you can get a tiny little amount of glue out. Now the big thing is, is don't try to glue in this center section because it will stick to your envelope. So I'm just going to glue about an inch and a half over here. 
down right along this line. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And about an inch and a half there. And then we're going to flip it up and just get down. Now, once I have filled my envelope with my items that I want, I will glue it closed the same way I just glued it together there. And if I want to decorate it, just make bubbles. Probably not because they're white. Okay. And then put some little dots. Now, if you like my video, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave me a comment to let me know that you were here and saw it and what you might like to see in the future. I'm going to fold one more and cut one more just so you can see it. Um, again, I mean, it's just one of those things where sometimes when you do things twice, although I forget you guys can replay this, um, I think I want to try it with a little more bottom make this bottom flap higher and the top flap shorter so let's see how that goes Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. So there you go. A fun, handmade, hand-decorated envelope for mailing out some fun, happy mail. Um, like I said, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.